Welcome everyone. So the previous class was an introduction to some of the differences between Java and Kotlin. During this class, we are going to be creating Android application. We are going to deploy these applications to a virtual phone, and we're going to be playing around with settings and stuff like that. So we create a new application. We call it test. As you can see, this is your company domain, right? And the package name is basically your company domain plus the application name. Okay, that's the folder. Now here, make sure you don't include the Kotlin support for the time being. Next. Now here, you have a list of all devices that your application might be targeting. As you can see, Android Studio also telling you which API is the best for you. So let's say you choose KitKat, you know that you are going to be able to target 90% of the device, right? If you want to be sure you're going to be targeting 100% of the devices, you want to be choosing ice cream sandwich. And the same goes for uh, watches or TV or cars and Internet of Things, right? Okay, so for the time being, we click Next. And then we choose the layout. We can choose a very simple one. Yeah, let's choose this one, the basic. Next. Activity name, layout name, title. We'll discuss about these things more in detail later on. Finish. And now we just wait. And we are in. So Kotlin is a plugin. If you are having trouble creating Kotlin projects, the very first thing you want to do is checking whether the plugin is installed. So you go here and then you choose the plugin and then you start typing Kotlin. Okay, in this case, it's already installed and it's update. So there is nothing we need to do. Okay, so let's go about an enabling Kotlin for this project. So configure Kotlin in project. Android with Gradle and all module, yes. And then this one, leave it as a default because generally this is always the latest. Okay. And now we wait. Okay. Done. Let's see what we've done here. So if we open the build Gradle for the test project, we are defining the Kotlin plugin, a specific version, and then we are modifying the class path so that we are including the Kotlin plugin. If we open instead the build Gradle file for the module, now here we are defining the Kotlin plugin as a dependency for build time. Before starting building the software, you need to figure out your deployment procedure. So do you want to push the software to your mobile phone using a USB connection? Or do you want to push the software every time to the Google Store? Or instead, do you want to use the emulator? We're going to be using the emulator because it's much more flexible. You can, you can test any kind of mobile phone, any kind of um, Android version, and it's fully automatable. So, Tools, AVD Manager, Create Virtual Device. And here you can choose whether you want to emulate a TV, a phone, a watch, wearable, or a tablet. We're going to be creating, let's say, Nexus 1. Next. Okay. We're going to be using this one, the default Android. Next. Okay. 
let's have a look at the advanced settings we are not going to change any of these but we know that we can change it if we want we can modify the ram or we can increase or decrease internal storage and so on okay so finish here it is this is our phone and we can keep on adding like for example we can add a tv if we want right next okay i will need to download this api but i won't do it now uh let's see tablet nexus okay next finish let's say i don't like this one anymore and i want to delete it uh delete yes okay that's done Before you start playing around with the emulator and the builds, make sure that these variables are correctly set up. So first of all, the system needs to know where the SDK is, right? The Android SDK. Then also the emulator needs to know where the uh, virtual images are stored. So if you do CD and you pick up this one over here, right? Copy. So that's the image of the virtual phone that we just created, right? Okay, now um, the emulator is very simple. You want to know which phone you can currently use, right? So you do this list minus AVDS that's the name of the image we just created if you want to start the phone it's very simple emulator and then you do and now you just wait Okay, now your phone is up and running. Let's do some testing. Yep, yeah, it looks like it's working. Um, I don't know, maybe Gumtree. Yep. It looks good to me. So we are ready to build and deploy. So here, you want to navigate to the folder where you have your software and here you're going to find this one which is the wrapper so the difference between gradle and gradle w is that this one is the wrapper uh, generally you launch the wrapper uh, you don't launch gradle uh, the wrapper uh, allows you to customize your environment, your application. Um, Gradle wrapper is a script. So what you're going to do here is that create a W and then you do install the bug. And I guess we start waiting. I might pause the recording. As you can see, the build was successful. Now, if you want to get the list of all the things that Gradle can do on your project, just okay. Tasks. Is gonna get you the list of all tasks you can run here. Okay, so you have install task, verification task. So as you can see, it's a pretty big list, right? 
I'll leave this one to you. Let's go back to the phone. Okay. So the application will be here it is, test, double click, and hello world. So, that will be all for today. Uh, don't miss next class because we're going to be starting the actual development. Um, so, thank you very much.